No, nah, bro, I swear, I don't smoke. Jeez. Nah, cuz you're moving like a fed. Still looking for some weed? Is that his name, Spud, yeah? Looking. You're asking the Pizza's here if you're hungry. I've only been on the roads a few days. Girls. Is it my fault people on the tape? I thought I was innocent. Here I am. Bring her a little song. Onyx. Sabrina, just leave it. Oi. I hope you don't think I forgot what you've done. Dickhead. <laughs> I'm coming to you then. Bro. Man, I'm cool. Scared. This is Roxby. Then he focuses on Rodney, and we witness him shouting at Gabriel about how he should have listened to Rod when the young man tried to sell him some marijuana. Asking around in vain, Michael spends the entire day waiting at the location where he last saw Rod. Fortunately, though, someone eventually tells Michael to text Spud if he wants any cannabis. Rod is occupied in the meanwhile, showcasing his abilities to Spud. He even bumps his head, yet he gets well right away. He ends up attracting a sizable clientele by bragging that if he can't make the delivery in five minutes, he will give his items away for free. Spud warns him about the government catching him and doing experiments, but he ignores them. Spud turns out to be correct, as we witness the covert facility observing Rod through CCTVs and preparing to apprehend him. Sabrina, on the other hand, is still shook. Crazy, Charlene's violent ex-boyfriend, stops by, but her troubles don't stop there. I suppose there is a connection of some kind between all the superheroes after all. To Sabrina's dismay, Crazy showered Charlene with presents and compliments, and she gave in a lot. Onyx and Sabrina go along to watch Crazy, and they arrange to meet in Gabriel's club. In the meantime, Andre picks up John's automobile to finally demonstrate his abilities to his old co-worker. In another scene, Dion tries to inform Mike about Kemi and the posts she's seen on the internet about individuals with abilities and luminous eyes. Mike attempts to talk her off of checking into the whole matter because he fears that she will find out about her death. However, he takes the incorrect approach when he lashes out at her and leaves to see Rod. He reaches Rod in time to see him attacked by a cloaked figure brandishing a flame. Rod is taken aback as they teleport to Onyx. You guessed it, there are other people at Onyx. Sabrina is still not feeling well and is experiencing vertigo in the club's restroom. In the meanwhile, when Crazy makes fun of her, Charlene becomes interested in a man named Kadeem. Kadeem and Charlene flirt outdoors, but he becomes aggressive when she attempts to enter. He glows in the eyes and appears to levitate, but Sabrina tosses him against a wall, killing him quickly. When a tracker in his arm lights, the institution knows he's passed away. Supercell Episode 3 concludes with CCTV images of him spending his final moments with Charlene. Supercell Episode 3 keeps things interesting by having the ensemble cast pass each other by without ever really engaging. Mike is having a hard time keeping track of everyone as they cross paths every other day. As it turns out, Crazy is connected to Andre and Sabrina, so we even get additional links. In the meantime, Mike is unaware that Dion has brought him one step closer to Taza.